adding the rennet to your cheese making milk. Make sure the temperature of your outer water pot is the same as the temperature of your inner milk pot. Have the milk moving. It's so little difficult to do this with just one hand. And normally you stir while you're squirting in the rennet. There is no need to dilute the rennet if you're using less than 25 gallons or less than 100 liters. That's You just don't have to do that. And when you do dilute the rennet, you have the chance of introducing bacteria from your tap water. Here are some pictures that I took of adding the rennet. And the next step will be the flocculation when the cheese making milk will start to thicken up just like gravy. And a few minutes later, it'll look like this. So that's what we're waiting for next. Successful cheese making book, successfulcheesemaking.com. You can buy the book or sign up for cheese making classes. And please like my video and leave a comment.